All right, so today we're going to talk to you about Phoebe. Phoebe is a young, very bubbly pug that I met about a year, a year and a half ago when I first arrived at Access. And Phoebe presented to us with a lameness of the uh, thoracic limb that was non-weight bearing. So she was not using the leg at all. And that was going on for several weeks, if not months. She already had a surgery performing to try to correct a uh, problem she had with one of the bones called the ulna, which makes up part of the forearm, which is in the middle of the leg. And that surgery was unfortunately not successful at making her function on the leg. So after more examination and radiographs, we decided that we needed even a better test to understand what was going on with her. And we did a, something called a CT scan. And the CT scan allowed us to see the leg in 3D. And we used that information to create a bone model. So we essentially printed her leg so that we could understand what the problem was. Now it came as a surprise that her problem with the leg was that the ulna bone, which I just mentioned, was completely out of place. And it's a process that we call luxation. And that luxation was secondary to a deformity. After a long discussion with the owner, who happens to be one of our favorite veterinarians and colleague, we decided to move forward with a correction of the deformity using essentially a bone cut and then a bone plate to repair the cut we had just made. We didn't know exactly how things were going to go because this deformity is not very common and it's often associated with poor prognosis. So we went in there with the hope that using the 3D model could help us getting a better outcome. And it was with great pleasure that we saw Phoebe improving on a weekly basis until we saw her for a recheck at about six weeks out, at which point she was using the leg every single step of the way. Now, six weeks is still early for recovery and we had to keep her quiet, which was very challenging, because as you can imagine, a young little pug only wants to play, and anytime you're trying to restrict her, she wanted to run and jump. So the hardest part was really to keep her quiet during the recovery, which overall took about three months. After the three months, we found that her bone was healed sufficiently to let her go and uh, all of a sudden she was a free puppy and able to play with others like she was planning to do.